I'm going to show you my latest DIY project. So clearly my son Mommy loves tools. Do, all day long he's asking me to build something with him. I have nail holes in all of my walls. Yes, we let him play with real hammer and nails because he knows what he's doing. At 18 months old he was already playing with hammer, nails, screws, screwdriver, and knew exactly where to put it, exactly how to use it, so I feel like if he's being supervised, he's fine. He Mommy, just knows where his gifts lie at a young age. Oh, okay, let's build something. Okay. So my husband and I really wanted to get him a workbench. Mm -hmm. We looked at Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, Mommy, um, building something, okay. and Mommy. prices started at $50 and went all the way up to $200 and this is for like the plastic ones the plastic workbenches so me being the cheapo that I am I said no I'll just do it myself and I'm sure it will be nicer and cheaper so I started where I always start Pinterest and I got a few ideas I didn't really find anything that I was in love with so I just really wanted to like create my own plan so I sketched out a little drawing um, and measured out what would it fit in his room exactly. Anyways, everything ended up being $50, like on the dot, which is not bad at all, especially for something that is like high quality. Um, it's real wood, it's sturdy, it's not like a big cluttery piece of plastic that's sitting in his room. Uh, we did not stain it, so it's the natural unfinished Mommy, wood. Push. Yes. Mommy, okay. Uh, but we did stain it down really well. I absolutely love the way it turned out. It looks really nice. It doesn't look handmade. And the greatest thing about it is that he actually plays with it every day. Like from the minute that he wakes up in the morning till nighttime, he is playing with his tools and he uses his workbench all the time. So it's already like more than paid for itself. So if you have a tool boy in your life and you'd like to learn how to make this workbench, then just keep watching. So very quickly, I'm going to go over all the supplies that you'll need, and I will list these items in the description panel below as well. All right, you're going to need sandpaper, four washers, then some three-inch screws plus four two-inch screws, your pegboard hooks, a piece of pegboard, and then your wood.
this is what it looks like when you're done. Um, I had a yardstick that I bought for him to go just in his tool set, but I felt like the workbench was just missing something or needed like a finishing touch, so I put this across the bottom and cut it down to 30 inches uh, and then attached it with just two little nails. And I really feel like it just made it. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, but you're actually not done yet. You need to take your workbench outside now with your sandpaper and start sanding away. I mean, spend a good amount of time on it because you don't want to get any splinters in your child's hands, of course. Um, so that will be the last step. And then you'll be done. I hope that you liked it.